Kant took his project, he says so explicitly in the preface to the Critique of Pure Reason, his main book, that he, he took his project to be one of denying knowledge of metaphysical matters in order to make room for faith. And, and, so like, and he says so explicitly. Yeah, he says so explicitly. Like, I had to deny knowledge to make room for faith. And so what, what Kant's uh, project was about was this. Uh, he thought that uh, what he called the materialists uh, or fatalists, so basically the Spinozists uh, from Spinoza onwards, he thought that when they argued or concluded or affirmed or proclaimed that there is no God and that everything is nature, they were overstepping the bounds of what human cognition is able to to know. We, like, it's not possible for the human mind to know with certainty anything about that which is beyond the spatio-temporal realm. And the concept of God is the concept of a being beyond the spatio-temporal realm. And the concept of an afterlife is a concept of something beyond space and time. Uh, but, but human cognition is limited to space and time when it comes to what it can know. So like Kant's basic message is that Anyone who claims that we can know that there is no God and we can know that there is no afterlife is mistaken and is subject to what he calls a transcendental illusion, which is the idea, the assumption that our cognition is able to transcend space and time and know things about metaphysical realities. Right, and he was saying the Spinozans made that leap. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, and without good reason. Yeah. 